Okay, so I, I throw like 240, 240 backhand. Sure. What, like, like, what are you throwing? Like, how fast do you think I'm throwing a disc at, to get it that far? So they say anything 60 miles an hour is about 400 feet. Okay. So I'm hitting it between 62 and 65. So I'm throwing over 400 to about 450 on a good day. Okay. Anything 70 feet, they say, is about 500 or 70 miles an hour is 500 feet. And then above and beyond that is, you know, it, Ryan Sheldon and the Simons and Eagles of the world are throwing 80 miles an hour and hitting that six to 700 feet. And then anything pushed out, you know, past that mile an hour, you're really depending on the disc to do what it's supposed to do. So I'm not even triggering the radar gun at my speed. <laughs> so Pete's radar gun has a minimum of, I believe, 25 or 28 miles an hour. I bet I'm there. I bet I'd get you that. Are, you are most likely there. So there, you know, it, it takes a really slow throw in order to not activate the radar gun so. <laughs> and so what we're going to be doing going forward um, is that once a month we're going to have anthony available for an hour over zoom and if you are the inner circle or the circle uh patreon subscriber you can actually submit video to me of yourself throwing all right not we don't want 30 minutes of video we just want little clips <laughs> of you throwing uh, if you can do slow-mo that's great but otherwise just send it to me if you're in the circle and what we're going to do is we're going to share the screen. We're going to show that to Anthony and he's going to kind of break it down and give some tips on how you can improve. But anybody who's a Patreon subscriber at any level can actually attend that and we'll record it and we'll make it available to Patreon subscribers. So I just want to encourage you guys, you know, it's not cheap to do a podcast. We don't have revenue streams. Uh, so we'd love to have your support in doing this thing. And, and in exchange for supporting us at even like three bucks a month, uh, you have access to this basically free coaching from Anthony uh, once a month. And so I uh, really want to encourage you guys to check that out. We'll put some information out there on Instagram and the different locations on the website. So the number one thing, and this is everybody when they first start throwing. Yeah, write it I'm, down. I got my pen, <laughs> I got my pen in hand. I'm taking notes. <laughs> so here's the number one thing. Um, I believe from the best of my knowledge that the disc golf backhand throw is the only throw in any sport where you have to actually look away from the target in order to throw it correctly. I hate that. Yeah. So it's very counterintuitive. So that what ends up happening is newer players, they're like, okay, I got to look away. So I'll turn my head away. But then they start to turn their head back first before anything else. So they lead the shot mm -hmm. with their head so they could actually see the disc fly, which is a no-no. You just have to trust that all your, your work out in the field, lining everything up is going to make that disc fly where it needs to go. And as soon as you look early with your head, um, your head is kind of leads your shoulders, your shoulders open up early and you end up yanking it off to the right if you're right-handed backhand thrower or left if you're left-handed backhand thrower. What's up guys? My tip of the week for you is to throw more putters. I know it may not seem that fun to go out in your round and just play with only putters, but it will tremendously help your game. Putters are so neutral flying that they show you any sort of flaw in your form just by how they fly. If you can get a putter to fly straight or even with a little bit of an over, overstable finish to it, you know you're throwing a putter well. I mean, everybody wants to be able to throw those distance drivers four or 500 feet, but when you can pull out a putter and you can throw a putter 300 or 400 feet, people are pretty impressed. And then your drivers fly even farther too. So definitely consider going out and playing just around with just your putters.